Hi everyone, we're back, and as I've said many times on this show, I love mushrooms. And today is going to be a celebration of the love triangle that I have with mushrooms and Mario. So, I love mushrooms and I love Mario. Mario loves mushrooms and he loves me, and mushrooms loves us both. So, <laughs> gives him life. Today, we are going to be making a one up mushroom risotto, and I can't wait to get started on it. You guys are gonna love it. Okay, so step one for our one up mushroom risotto is going to be some chicken stock. We're gonna make about seven, eight cups. Okay, so for our one up mushroom risotto, we have three different types of mushrooms. Your basic white button mushrooms. Second, we got some portobello mushrooms, big boys. Finally, we have our dried porcini mushrooms. We're going to use every bit of them. Pop, pop. Joe, look at the size of this mushroom, man. Mm, gives me life. Okay, so these are our dried porcini mushrooms. I've been wanting to smell them. Probably have the weirdest scent. Whoa, <laughs> that, that's an interesting smell. Uh, Joe, sniff these. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there is, that's not as surprising as I thought. It's, <laughs> it's good. So we're gonna rehydrate these in some of the broth that I have. And not only that, but once they're all hydrated, we're gonna save that mushroomy broth to reincorporate into the risotto later on. One of those from there. It's like a mushroom tea. Okay, and we'll leave those to sit for about 20 minutes. All right, next step is to fry up all these mushrooms we have. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan on medium. So many mushrooms. Here our mushrooms are just about done. We're going to chop up some onion and a few cloves of garlic. Mushrooms are done, they're coming off the heat. In our pan with the mushroom residue in it, just get some more olive oil along with all of our onion and garlic. Next up, we make our risotto. Now risotto is normally made with arborio rice. So this is what we have today. Oh my god. That was really just the, uh, the seal that was making it so tightly packed. It was completely airtight. Now that our onion and garlic is uh, pretty much cooked up, I'm going to add a cup and a half of arborio rice the toast on top of it. Next up, we're putting in half a cup of dry white wine. I have a Pinot Grigio here. We're going to pour this over the arborio rice so it gets all absorbed into the rice. Mmm, wow, the scent of white wine and garlic and onions, it smells so good. So our dried porcini mushrooms have rehydrated at this point. Now I'm going to gently take them out and leave them in the bowl with the other mushrooms. But don't worry, we are saving this liquid. It is packed with mushroomy goodness. Mario would be proud. All right, now that the wine has been absorbed into the rice, we are going to slowly add the chicken stock. A couple of ladles at a time. Make sure to stir carefully so that all of the stock gets absorbed into the rice. You want a really creamy, soft risotto. So it's all absorbed again. 
perfect time to add more broth. And while that's simmering, we are going to grate up some fresh Parmesan cheese. It's a lot of parm. You need a lot of parm. This risotto is going to be incredibly decadent. Now you can see all that good broth has been uh, absorbed into the rice. I'm going to be adding the juice from the porcini mushrooms in there too. Let's get that extra mushroomy flavor. And no, we're not done yet. We're gonna put in about three tablespoons of butter <laughs> to make it even more rich and creamy. Wow, this smells just amazing. It takes a lot of patience though because this, the cooking time for this is uh, 20 minutes of just making sure that it doesn't stick and that the rice absorbs as much of that good broth as possible. All right, so we've got parsley next. So we'll rip off a big chunk of that. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and we now have a very creamy, thick risotto that has grown considerably in size. So, now we get to add in our mushrooms. Pre-cooked mushrooms. Extra mushroomy. Let's mix this up without making a mess. So many mushrooms. Wow. And finally, a whole bunch of Parmesan cheese and parsley. It's all gonna melt in there. Holy smokes. Okay, so our hard work's paid off. We have a very decadent mushroom risotto here. The only thing left to do is have a bite. Give it a shot. Oh my god. That is spectacular. That is so creamy. The, the rice is the perfect density and all the mushroom flavor. Holy smokes. This is better than anything you'd find in the mushroom kingdom. <laughs> so I'd say our one-up mushroom risotto was a grand success. And thank you guys so much for uh, watching another one of our episodes. We had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye!